Hello, welcome to the Nork IndyCar series for the running the fourth annual Nork Indianapolis 500. We be doing 125 laps around this two and a half mile. Although, as we take a look at the starting order here, with the pole position being a 44 Anthony Emery to his outside number 34 Connor Horn. In row number two, we're going to have Caden Henry in the 19 and Scott McCann in the 90. Row three at number 28 of Cody Miller and the number three of Femi Ola. Take a look at row number four. Got number 41, Tom Mercier to his outside. The fan favorite, number 82, Joseph Lombard. Then row number five, rounding out your top ten, we're going to have Matt Hummel and Jordan Missig running in tenth. In row six, we have number 07, Zach Nichols, and number 88 of Andrew Farnios. And row number seven, we've got the number double zero of David Haynes to his outside number 55 of Clifford Evan. And back in row number eight, we have Austin, I don't know, and then Richard Schaffner in 16th. Row nine, we have number four, Ryan Mayer, number 76 of Justin Lezenby. Oh, Justin, not Justin. <laughs> row number 10, we have the number 02 of Peter Solto and to his outside number 11 of Ronnie Passeri. 21st is going to be John Barry way back in the field with Will Klein in 22nd. Row 12, number 8, Josh Robin, number 5, a peanut of Spencer Owens. And row number 13, we have number 89, Sean Williams. This is outside Mr. Yeehaw, number 25, Terrell Baker. And we keep going. Row number 14, Aaron Smith back in 27th. And 28th, Mac Johnson. And that will be your 28th car field here. As we come off of turn number four, there will be one reset for this race, so these guys will have one chance to be in one big wreck. Pace car will make the hard left-hand turn down the pit road here. As we get ready for one of the biggest races in Nork history, it's the fourth annual Nork Indianapolis 500, and we are green. Some people blinking at the back of the field. And this first lap right here, these corners and trying to get single file and get just kind of in the line so we don't have any wrecks right here is going to be really key at this at this beginning part right here. Everybody kind of taking it easy. It looks like we get through turn one and two clean, it looks like. Yep. I also want to know about this race here. Um, the weather is a little bit cooler here in Indianapolis, and also we're running a little bit higher down for setup. So that's going to probably cause a lot of pack racing going through this race. A lot more double foul action than you're used to seeing here in Indianapolis with these cars. We come off of turn number four. We got one car on the emergency road as we're about to complete the first lap. I can't even tell you who led that first one. Clean air is going to be really important here. As these cars behind the lead car basically get tight as hell off the corner. You might see some guys pushing really bad, smacking these turn two and turn four walls. And all day, uh, day long, you are going to see down these long straightaways, these guys get just, the draft is so big here. You'll get these huge runs and slingshot trying to get by to get that position to get the lead right here. You'll see that all afternoon long. See after Emory there in a really white, white, bright blue, if I can say it right. Uh, McLaren Honda, as he leaves the pack, cough on pole. He really likes these Indian cars. He's really good in Indian cars. As we are now double foul going to turn one. Here it comes, I believe, Femi Alad to his outside. Yep. Yeah, you, you saw him there get the run to the outside, but then once he got to the corner, just kind of couldn't keep that momentum up there. But he's right there, right in the bumper. Or the back oh. end of Anthony. And look at these guys fan out down the back stretch. Every lane possible. You see one car back there got out of the groove a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to block these cars. They suck up so quickly in the draft. If you just time not block, just a little bit too late, you know, you're going to be flying off into the wall of a car going through the air. Ooh, wow, really oh, wow, really close. Oh, man, that was close right there between. I'm, I'm not, it's kind of hard to tell who these cars are by right now, but Anthony Emery and uh, somebody else side by side. And I think that is the 34 coming horn to his outside. I'm telling one that these guys are really on top of each other as we take a look at this second pack. Yeah, that's no room for air with these open wheel cars. Oh, yeah. A little slight neck code and you could be done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not like a stock car where you make some slight contact and the guy can save it. You barely touch these cars. You're, you're going around. And it's going to be big. When these things wreck, it's, it's massive. <laughs> Going up with this, uh, different kind oh, of setup. Whoa, Look so at that. 
Everybody's so clumped up on top of each other. It is so hard to pass. Look at this. Three Diamond. wide up here for the front. Well, it's going to be tight. Then Connor Horn, they oh. leave your turn one. Yeah. yeah, he's going to take it all the way down the bottom. He's a block. He got really close to that pit wall there coming down the front stretch to make that move on Anthony. He got the job done here, but watch Anthony draft back to the Whoa. outside now. Yep. New and there's slingshot trying to go all the way to the outside. They're going to be double foul from the race leaves. Headed back on turn number three. You can see a record amount of leaving. It's just the way this, that this is looking out. I mean, these guys are just slingshotting back and forth up front here. Side by side still. Kind of go we'll take a look for the back of the pack here. Kind of get used to these cars. Everyone's running the car. I believe that's uh, this dark blue here is just one bar. He is behind. I believe that is the 93. Uh, I'm thinking that is a Matt Hummel. So we have a nerf. Yeah, side by side battle for a race leader here. Connor Horn now has Millet to his outside. And these guys are just all over the place. Oh, they go down that I back. Mean, I'm surprised we even made it three, four laps that we've done right now. These guys are racing hard for the beginning of this race. Look at Femi go to the outside to kind of get a better angle into the corner. Whoa, there's three wide car. back here. Oh, man, Where's someone really has. Look at this. Crazy right there. Yeah, I think that one car was blinking out just by a little bit. Oh, oh wow. Oh, my oh, my we got that. Throw the caution. Oh, my Lord. What the hell? You just saw that car just shoot into the catch fence. Not really sure who that is. Charles Baker car. doesn't have a wing. Let's see if, Let's see if we can tell who oh, these cars contact. are. They yep. And that's the thing. One little touch and around these cars go. And oh my oh, goodness. Oh wow. man. What an impact. Whoever that was just thought he was going to make it through and just barely got clipped by that blue car right there. Yeah, I think that blue car is Terrell Baker. And that oh, one yes. car went okay. flying into the fence. This is on uh, Rodney. Oh, oh man. Oh. What a ride. It was so close. Ooh, goes up back up in the air again. There's a little bunny hop. <laughs> Three cars right there off that car. That could have been a huge wreck at the back of the back. Yeah, this Carl Baker just kind of gets into the back of that car right there. That, oh, my goodness. These cars are going 200 and something miles an hour. I mean, they wreck quick. Yeah, and there's no saving on board with Sean Williams. Sean had a view right here. I mean, oh, oh, oh wait a yeah. minute, he gets. I don't know if he got hit from behind a little bit, maybe right there. Yeah. Terrell Baker seen the hole for a second, and then I think it's eleven car. Yeah, Started yeah, Peter Soto a little bit, and oh man, so quick. man, here. who wow. is that? Oh. Who, who is that car right there? Ah, uh, that is Ronnie Basari. Man, wow. and I, uh, I guess and... the good the good thing about you know. Being in a wreck early, though, is you do have a reset in this race, as uh, John mentioned earlier. So that's good for them, but now they're going to have to really take it easy and make sure they don't get any, any more trouble as we're only five laps into this thing. Yeah, and these guys going to be really careful coming up pit road, too, because these cars, you know, they kind of stop really quickly, and everyone's in one line, really easy to get wing damage. Now, with the indie cars, like, if you do get wing damage, you know, road replace the wing so you don't have to use a reset for it. So as everyone comes down the pit and uh, pit stalls here. I think these... This is the most cars we've seen in an Indy car race. This would be pretty interesting on pit road. Yeah. A lot of yeah, guys definitely the biggest field we've ever seen for an Indy car race. I believe someone missed their pit stall. Whoever that was, second car is right there. Yeah. So far, a... the top three have been really Connor Horn, Anthony Emery, Femi Ola right here. Yep. I don't tell them if I want to surprise me, we see those guys up front for the rest of the race. Both those guys, Femi and Emery, especially, are really good in any cars. Some of these guys back here might have been got a little piece of that massive accident we already had in this race. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was that was brutal. For that yeah, it, was a, the it was amazing. Not more cars were involved. Single file start here. Yep, everyone's yeah. pinned up against the wall. Yeah, you can pass the outside, but not to the inside, so you can see all the guys up to the outside protecting it. Oh. See, yeah, watch this the starts here. People can throw. Oh, there they go. They yeah, we already got some stacking up going on oh, back yeah. here. Oh, oh there it goes oh, one yeah, around. Oh. One call around. Caution will quickly come back out, I yeah. believe. Yeah. It's just so hard to figure out who's in these cars right now. Yeah. Yeah, with these guys going in first gear, they hit the gas and they see this is the 22. Yep. Oh. Time to start. 
hit him once, and I stack him and he just drives right through him, actually. I think that was Zach, uh, Zach Nichols here who actually net coded through him. He, this is him right here on board. He's giving some room, so stuff like this happens, he, he moves out of the way. Oh, yeah, he just drilled through him. I'm not very sure what the 22 was thinking. Zach got lucky there. So let's try this again. And so we got Connor Horn, Anthony Emery, Jordan Missig up to third. Oh, Haven't mentioned him yet. Caden Henry and Joseph Lombard right there in the top five. So um, a little bit of different top five here on this restart. Two, yeah. Look at all these guys laying back here on the start. It sort of goofs up the start a little bit because they go and then they stop and it just chains all the way back. Here we go. Green flag looks a, a lot cleaner than <laughs> the last time. Okay, okay. <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> I was not looking at Emery. He's going to get a huge run in this guy going down the back. Yeah, you saw Connor. He was trying to break that draft, get him to speed to try to pull away from Anthony. But, Anthony, you're going to see down this back stretch, he's going to get a huge run on him. These guys are fanned out for a second, but we'll just give it a couple up. Absolutely. All grouped up again. Yeah, I see Emery already up there side by side for a race lead. We got Jordan missing there in that retro Montoya paint scheme that he ran back in yeah. 2000. And these four cars have kind of, they definitely have broke away from the rest of the field. Caden Henry, the fourth oh. car, who is blinking like crazy. Yeah. He's and these, if they continue drafting and slingshotting those guys, it'll be tough for them to catch back up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard from some drivers they said during the practice is that once you got get away a second away from the car in front of you, that they no longer get the benefit of the draft. So if you can actually pull away from the car in front of you, you can actually stay there. Yeah, I got off the track over here. Oh, oh we got another one going. I mean, that's the one. thing about these indie cars. Is you can make that hard turn and it sticks, and it, it just looks so aggressive when you make these, these guys make these passes, make these moves. It kind of gets us out of our seat a little bit. Take a look at the back of the pack here. These guys are Baker there, who obviously yeah. used a reset. Yeah, all these guys are just kind of sitting here riding. We got one car on pit road. So we go back to the battle for the race later. Here comes Jordan missing to the outside. Got Ken Henry here with the awful connection. Yeah, Jordan Missick trying to take the lead from Connor Horn here. Um, gets to the Ooh, outside. Oh my wow. goodness! Wow. Just trying to yeah. get a little bit of draft to slingshot. He's side by side with him. This is helping these other picks catch up here for these. Uh, the second pack and here and go. Yeah, yeah, I believe that second pack of three, Joseph Lombard's in there. Matt Hummel. I'm not sure who the third car is yet. Yeah, oh, that car oh, caught wow. Ooh, the wow. grass. Oh, that was close right I there. I think that was David Hainer who caught the grass there as we go back up front. Jordan's Connor Horn back up to the race lead. In the third car in that second group is actually Mac Johnson, who started at the rear of the field. So getting up to seventh already, a good start for him. All right, we're, we're swerving over the place up here. Oh man, that's a tight man, squeeze. Wow. I don't know how Jordan got that Where's car he? in there, but he made it work. Oh, oh, oh wow! Oh, 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 what oh, happened? Oh, he Hard into the outside wall. Oh, look at that car in the grass. Oh, oh, boy. It, oh, we're, oh, there's no caution. We're still green. We're still racing at Indianapolis. <laughs> <laughs> he's still wheeling her. He might be picky walking a little bit, but he's okay. <laughs> he's got no front wing either. Oh, my lord. And that car God. just it, like hit the wall and just went for a ride right there, man. That piece of neck, what I think it was, that happened so quick here, no steering out of it. How that wasn't a yellow, I have no clue, but... Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's not what that really did. That really spread out the back half of the field. This is about to move right here. Yeah. 74. And well, it's like, you know, yellow as they come out, but... but look at this. That group three has run down the leaders. We got a yep. pack of seven up front now. Here comes uh, David Hain. That, uh, I don't even know how that car is still rolling as he comes down pit road. It's turkey walking down pits. I don't think he was in that first track, so he'll use that reset and continue on, but he's going to lose a lap, obviously. Yeah. So, yeah, he's definitely going to need a caution. As they come off a of turn two here. Still putting out a good fight up here in the Ooh. front. Anthony Emery slides in the second past Jordan. Got a great runoff, too, here. These guys are going to make their way into the north section of the speedway. And we now looks like a seven car pack up here. Yep, you see Joseph Lombard, Matt Hummel, and uh, Mac Johnson join these front four now. Mm -hmm. See, Anthony, not Anthony Emery, but uh, Ken Henry here 
with an awful connection. He claims that his connection is better when he turns the AC on and he puts a fan on his computer. And um, we have kind of disputed that claim that he made and believe it's very, uh, very unreasonable that he will start lagging because of uh, AC on in or on his house. So wax on, wax off. Yeah. Let's see what Jordan does here. He's got a great run Whoa, on these guys. Wow, that's the a, that's a nifty pass. Oh, and they're touching for fourth. And we're oh, three watch for lead. Is not at, going to be happy. Jordan made a great move to make it three wide up the middle, and now he's side by side with Connor for the lead. Oh, that was a really aggressive move by Justin Lawmore down that back. He Whoa, went underneath man, the white that. line. I think if these cars had fenders, I think Lombard would make it out of the next corner. <laughs> no. I'll tell you oh what, these Lord. guys definitely aren't racing like we're only 15 or so laps into this race. They are racing like crazy up yeah, here. This is the lead group. And Caden, you can't tell where his car is because it's all over the place with lag. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen a guy go in the grass about door something. Well, not door, but tire to tire with <laughs> tire or something, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> 20 laps and we still have 105 to go. Unbelievable. Yeah, this I don't see this last much longer up here with this group as we go back for the field here. A couple of cars. There's uh, Femi, there's a 74. There's, um, well, they going by so fast, I don't even know who it is. Yeah, kind of a surprise to see Femi as far back as he is when he was up front early in this race, maybe just taking it easy. Those guys are racing the crazy, as you see right here up front. Yeah. I mean, just yeah, the right. swerving and the snaking, it's just one little wrong move could go bad. Yeah, definitely right now, the best racing on the track right now, probably the best potential for a crash will be up front with these guys. Oh, man. Yeah, there, here comes Matt Hummel. He's up there in third. There's just one more right behind him. As you see, uh, Jordan Missing there was bound for the latest, falling back to fifth in this group. Let's go on board with Jordan Missing here. I think this is Jordan. These guys are such a run, you hear them wow. the chip here, and they're sort of stuck. And yeah, he's going to lift to go to the corner, yeah. Try and cross him over and get to the bottom, but Connor's been running that defensive line. No one's been able to really get it done. To say that, Emmer bring about clears them, but. Yeah, Anthony, did, that was the, is the closest I've seen that outside line be able to clear that bottom. Just not quite, though, as you see Connor still has an inside line. Mm. Oh, look at Jordan. Jordan. Make yeah, right Jordan. Yeah. Swishing lanes, trying to get to the bottom. Yeah, the thing is, is like I think with these cars, with the draft is, like, I think the outside line is quicker, but the thing is, if you come down to clear them, they'll just get a big run, they'll go to your outside. So, oh, we got smoke on pit road. I think someone's wrecking. On. The 11 car, I think. Yeah, the 11 car who was involved in that first accident was flying as the defense. I believe there's more damage to the driver than there is to the car as he spun <laughs> on pit road. Obviously, <laughs> some sort of brain time. injury. <gasps> as we go back up front, we still. Ooh, Jordan missing going to the top. He's trying, making it three wide. Just can't quite get there yeah. enough run from the draft to slingshot by him. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh we got it. Joseph, Joseph they're going for each other. They went at it earlier in the race, but uh, obviously it's a connection issue on Caden. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that move Joseph made earlier was connection-wise that he went through Caden, but still. Yeah. Actually, they're actually losing a little bit of touch with this front group here. If they start racing each other, I think this front group here will count. Start pulling away from them. Matt Hummel's had this race on his calendar the past like three years. Mm. He goes here every week. Yeah. yeah, it seems like every week we're oh. getting a Snapchat video from him from uh, Indianapolis. As you see, here comes Jordan missing to the outside looking for the race lead. Everyone's going in the middle. He's looking. See, obviously in the Indy cars, you cannot really push. So oh, oh, wow. What just happened oh, there? Jordan in the wall. And we have a call. Oh. oh, someone just ran into him. I think it's like Kenzie Johnson. Mac Johnson just ran in it, but we have a caution. I don't yeah, think that would be for Jordan. No. Uh, hang on a second. <laughs> Brain damage on the 11 car again. Oh, oh man. no. Okay, so we kind of caught the end of this. What the? You did not win the Indy 500, Goofy. <laughs> What's he doing? Accident? Well, I don't think the medical him. exam was all that good on the 11 <laughs> driver. <laughs> This kid in his car. Yeah. How did this stuff? Okay, now, oh, okay, I think this is what brought oh. the caution. This car's still turkey walking. Yeah, that, this, oh, there's a lot of smoke from that car. Oh my, yeah, that car is not right. He's gonna go into the corner oh. and just spins oh. it out. Oh. Wow. 
I that would say. Come. Yeah. So, okay. Now, he's off maybe... track. This won't bring out the yellow. Oh, but this the... will. Oh, his car. What the? Oh, oh my <laughs> god. Now, he stops in the middle of the track. Oh, and that's why Jordan oh, hit the wall. That Jordan reacted to that. And he, he got off track just before they got there. Oh my god, what this a, guy was sitting right in the middle of the track. What a tough break for Jordan. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So you thought you'd seen it all. And this is McKenzie. Actually, he caught the wall right before this is happening. Yeah, I'm thinking they're about to drill that guy. Jordan goes to avoid him. And McKenzie just honestly does a terrible job. Of yeah, Jordan. just not paying any attention at all. I mean, the only defensive thing I can say for the 11 cars is, you know how, like, he can get his faster gear, but, like, his tire gets all goofed up because he had damage? Huh. Yeah, but, but that still doesn't explain why he, was, yeah. why he was yeah. still on the track for. Right, exactly. That's one of the strangest things I've ever seen. If I was a 24, I'd be pissed. Yeah, that's a tor- I mean, he does have a reset, thankfully, but that's a horrible break for Jordan. Now he's going to be way back in the field when he's been up front this whole race. Yeah, and he's got to be careful not to get involved in any more accidents, because if he- Screws up the tires, you know, suspension, he's done. There he, yeah, yeah, actually, he, there he is still. I think he held his spot. Yeah, he held a spot, but yeah, he's So he actually might, he might be okay. Him and Matt Hummel almost getting together there. They might have touched. Yeah, he should get that faster pair right here, I, unless he's going to try and save it, but I don't think so. No, I think he's got suspension damage. He has to use it. Yeah, he's got, easily wins the race off the road. Yeah. We got cars going for cars here. And I'm hearing that the 11 is being reporting to the hauler being removed from the race. Mm. Yeah, I mean. Could have killed somebody. Yeah, the officials are not happy with him sitting in the middle of the racetrack like he was. I mean, there could have been a lot of problems with that car, but yeah, to be sitting on the track like that, I mean, that was just kind of kind of not cool. All right, pace car will pull off here. Wait for it. And this is a who do we got leading this thing? David, no. Oh, whoa, we whoa. got a lot of checking up going on back oh, there. Green gosh, flags oh, out. Man. Hunter Horn looking like he's the first one, fresh tires, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, maybe we had two guys stay out here on this caution? Yeah, I've seen some two cars stay out at deck. Get a lap I don't wish know. Wish I knew these cars. Looks like the and leader is. That is Cody Miller. Oh, Cody Miller, alright. Yeah, old, old dude Lamel. Here's the seat. Fourth. Rolling shoot. No. It's Matt. Yeah, Matt. I'm all. Who that other car is? Josh maybe it's a lap car. Huh? Josh has a red car, so I, yeah, I don't know who that was. Anyway, up front. Yeah, up front. Back up to this chaos. It, uh, now, this restart, these guys are a lot more clumped up than they were last yeah. time. So We got about 15 or so cars right here. Yeah. One little mistake, and it could be a massive wreck. Yeah, it's gonna be ugly. Ooh, wow. Whoa. Someone might have caught the wall there. I think that was Cody Miller. Or maybe that was David Hayne. No, it's David Hayne. Yeah, I think it was yeah, he's the lap down up. car. He's the lap yep. down car. Yeah, Cody Miller's still right there side by side with Hunter Horn for the lead here on that outside line. Connor's not giving up that spot. No, the thing is, I think if he were really pinched some. Oh! Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Because we just said that. That was. I can't believe that could have been bad. I don't oh, think they're happy they're, they're, they're trying to wreck oh, still. Pissed. This is the whole goddamn field all glued. Oh, yeah, man. this is a horrible accident looking for a place to have it. Oh, 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 one of the wall. There it is. There it is. Oh, oh, dead. oh, oh no. God, Dixon. Who's oh. oh. <laughs> Cockpit first into the fence. <laughs> Not good. I think the Scott Dixon wreck. My lord. That was Mackenzie Johnson. Oh man! And did uh, he? Oh, he get might contact. Have just used that reset too. Oh, oh man, what a hit! God. Look at the worse. He holds her to the floor. Mm. <laughs> Here he comes. Look. And look at all these cars. They don't know where to go. And <laughs> oh man! <laughs> at first, into the fence. She's bunny hopping. You know, it looks like him and the uh, second Nicholas make some contact, and that and does yeah, them that the same right There, I mean, he he has no control right here. That car no. is destroyed. This thing's a Scott Dixon wreck 2.0. Oh, look at this thing blink and into the fence <laughs> head first. Ugh. He is now, done. He he might be done though, because I think he probably used a reset when he got Oh, forward. so I yeah. think Mackenzie might be down here. 
the fence yeah. catches him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that killed him. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And pit road will be open again. Now he yeah, saw Cody Miller. Cody Miller stayed out, so he might have to pit here, and these guys are gonna follow him? Wow, they Looks are. like the majority of the field is gonna follow him down here and see who's staying out behind him. Yes, Matt Hummel had stayed out. Yeah, Matt He's Hummel and Anthony, Anthony Emery. Anthony, yeah, Anthony and Matt Hummel stayed out. That's awesome though for Cody Miller. He's gambled a little bit and it actually paid off. How, how grouped up everybody is, you can really do that if you're back in like 20th. I don't think with this is like this package is really easy to pass, but the problem is that you can't get in that traffic. You kind of get stuck. Yeah. You can't really go anywhere because there's cars everywhere. Yeah, if everybody's side by side, you there's no oh, way to go. Oh, falling off pit road. Joseph, Joseh oh, all I hit backs and into the wall. Backs are right on the wall. He didn't have any damage. Now he does. Yeah. Fan boys have gone crazy. Yeah. Well, he probably got to come back in. Yeah, Joseph had been running really in the top ten this whole entire beginning of the race. Yeah, he's, he's been up here most of the time. John Barry is in the, in the orange seventy-four right there. Seems like he's been hanging out back, trying to avoid all the carnage. I mean, there's been a lot of carnage so far. Let's see, our top five now is Anthony Emery, Matt Hummel, Femi Olat, Justin Lizenby, and Ryan Marin. We haven't mentioned his name either, up in nope. fifth. We're back at it. Yeah, I think the earlier the leader goes in these resources, the cleaner they are. And also, I think if they go like really late, I think these guys try to. Yeah. You jump it, and they end up running into the back chair. At least for a lap, look at that. It's really spread out this restart now. Extremely mm -hmm. spread out this restart. Can't yeah, I figured these, it's huge. Yeah, I figured these guys would be a closer together. We're now three wide here. Here comes Matt Hummel, okay, Femi a lap. the middle. Femi has a really good advantage. He might think, be able to clear Yeah, up. he can come down. He does. Oh, 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 oh. oh, my God. How did he save that? What was that? I, Man, I don't know. Annoying. That should have been a wreck. Wait, but now here is the wreck. He can't, he can't. Oh, whoa! Oh, no. <laughs> He's upside down. He's upside down. Oh, Look out, everyone. Oh, my God. Oh, he got hit. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> got a yellow. The hometown favorites up in flames. Oh, uh, hometown Matt Hummel. <laughs> and from Indiana. I, I think they... Oh. oh, they just touched tires going into three, it looked like. Femi does Femi an amazing save job saving that. Cause when they, they hit again, Matt actually hit him square and his car up. Perfect. We kept yeah, going. But then when he turns the wheel here with <laughs> wing, uh... Yeah, he's no front wing that really yeah. upsets the arrow. Oh, I no. Mean, when these things are sideways, it's so hard to save. Oh, it. wow. <laughs> the tire bearer flipped him over. Let's see who hits him here. Yeah, someone just Someone's clobbered come him. Through here. Oh, oh wait, it's McKenzie. The white car. Who was that? I think oh, that was Mackenzie Johnson. Maybe he did have a reset. <laughs> oh, oh my Mick. goodness. The rolling coffin and rolling chicane make a meeting here. Yeah, there's... Right there, they touch tires. And then... Yeah, look there's... at his wheel. Look at that. Yeah, that car is all... Yeah, that thing's driving off on the round it goes. See, he's turning oh. right, and it just... Oh, my goodness. Oh, look out. Oh, right there. There's a terrible Great. wreck so far in this what race. A crazy race so far. <laughs> yeah, back with McKenzie here. So is this it's McKenzie just... right here? Let's see. Yeah, this is McKenzie He's again. Oh, oh. Like... <laughs> Dude, there's nothing on his car. I think he's okay. I think he net cut for him. Wow. <laughs> he has like 10 lives. We just had a rolling thunder happen. <laughs> <laughs> now with them two getting together, we have another new face in the top five. Josh Robin up to four yeah. minutes restart. Farmer and Taters and Chase and Naders. That guy right. was less than the last time. He freaking, he's laying way back. Green flags out. We're back underway here. Yeah. Wow, what a crazy race so far. Yes. <laughs> Anthony Emery has been one of the few cars to get that car up front all race so far. We got a battle for a sec. Here we go. Yep. Here it comes, I'm trying to think, see who that Red Bull car is. That's John Barry? Uh, no. Justin... No, Justin... Justin, Lysen Justin Linesby, yeah. yeah. I think it's 74 there, good one. Wow, look, wow, he's got a really good run here. Yeah, wow. Oh, that's on one thing. Vimy and Josh Roman almost made some contact there going into the third corner. 
As they come off of turn four, there's going to be a drag race to the line. I think the line speed might be able to pull them off here in the line. It's kind of hard to tell this angle here. This hard pack is slowly starting to come up here. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised Femi is still up from that contact with Matt Hummel. I'm surprised he didn't have to, pick to fix that. It might have been just one of those things where I just barely touched him and it really upset his car. I don't think he really hit anything all that hard. Yeah, you hit him square. Going actually into the corner, I'm right? surprised it doesn't give him wing damage. Yeah. Uh, I think this is now the time when we can actually kind of breathe a little bit here. Yeah, I was going to say, with how crazy <laughs> we've seen the beginning of this race, these guys just might be like, okay, let's take it easy here and just kind of get some laps. Well, there's a pack here. Well, this. We got a pack for about 20th, <laughs> trying to go three wide down the front stretch. I'm missing four wide there for a second. <laughs> yeah, there's... Um, the amount so of depth see, is now moving. Oh! Right there. There's McKenzie Whoa. again. Look, I wouldn't want to be around that car. <laughs> no, that car is really bad luck. Rolling chicane. Or no, he's rolling coffin, my bad. Yeah, yeah he's living up to the name. <laughs> oh man, look at the movement Whoa. going on back here. They're trying to make it four wide or three wide. I think that's Matt Hummel in the middle of that too, trying to rebound from that wild wreck he just had. Jeez, well, these guys are everywhere. And they've Trail got Terrell Baker, Baker here. Also was in a wreck earlier. I think uh, one of these uh, blue and yellow cars is Spencer Owens. He's back here. we got team cars, it looks like, here. Yeah. Uh, and so we head back up front. Yeah, back up front. This is probably the calmest area on the track at the moment. We got one car there in fifth who's just kind of by himself. I think that might be Ryan Marin. He's just right there in fifth, yeah. right? Kind of barely in touch with these leaders. And look at the, oh my gosh, they almost have the grass. Yeah, we got another group looking to wreck. I mean, it, it, this is like definitely... Definitely probably the most exciting race in the, ooh, wow, did he catch the wall there? Oh, he's in the groove. Oh, man. I mean, some of the blocks these guys are doing in these cars are just crazy. These guys are racing like this. They need to catch those dirt. And those front four, well, and five now, have really started to pull away. Yeah. We are only on lap 42 out of 125. This is the craziest IndyCar race I've ever seen. Yeah, we still have a little, we're not even especially, halfway yet. Especially at this track, because we're, we're not used to seeing the pack racing like this here. No. The weather's right, the car's right, it's really put on a great show. Uh, we are riding on board with, I'm not really sure who this is, but we're taking a look at this front pack here. It's Femi or uh, I think this Robin. is Femi. Yeah, so uh, yeah, Femi. These guys go apparently on turn one here and just see the speed that they're carrying. These guys go flying past here. Got three packs here. I mean, look at that pack for like 20th. <laughs> it's huge. Yeah, that, 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 you can see, there's the first pack, there's the second pack, and there's this swarm of cars. And a Talladega pack, racing from the back. <laughs> yeah. These guys that don't have resets anymore, basically. Yeah, oh, oh there's a oh. grass back there. Oh, my God. Someone, someone who's a mowing back there. Man, you can hear him back here. Yeah, here's some Joseph Lombard side by side with Connor Horn. Yeah, He's back here now. Why he got, how he got way back there. Way a bad pit stop. Yeah. I look, it's like these guys are kind of spurred and they're not all on top of each other like they were earlier. Yeah, Connor's gonna do some pit strategy if he wants to get back up to the front like Cody Miller did it earlier. But you know, right now it's these top five. I think these five here, I think they've realized like, hey, let's like not be idiots at the moment, just kind of <laughs> chill for a little bit. But every single group I've seen so far has been racing just bonkers right now. This pack up here looks more calm racing for the lead than the guys back there racing for 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see it. the 20th is where the action is going on. There's that pack back there. Here's the, the guys, second group. These guys need to start slingshotting if they want to catch these leaders. They're three wide almost. Okay, here it is. Here's wow, the second yeah. group. Let's see, see what we got in the second pack. I think John Barry's who we're on board with right here. Maybe. Yep. Start yeah, and then, uh, Zach Nichols are in the 07. I think that's Caden Henry up I can't tell. Yeah, I think that yeah, that's Caden Henry who's the uh, second, uh, very first car in his crew. I think you can see just how much, you know, the wheel has been fought going through these corners. Uh, actually, I believe these are the only very few cars on iRacing that don't have power steering. Here comes the 
huge run. This is a 55. Five. I think that's a uh, Clifford. Clifford Evan. And a white and blue car there. Kind of looks similar to Sean Williams' cars. Head back to the front group. And we can get back to this group. And there's the. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, th this group Sean here being Williams and this group here, you see that Taylor Swift blue that he always runs. Yeah, taking a look on the inside, I believe that it is uh, just one more there. Jordan missing. I think Cody Miller might be that fifth car. I'm not sure. I think I think yeah, he's in this group. Baker's in there as well. No, actually, there's a little bit of a fourth group back there as we head back up to the race of the lead. This is about the um. Thomas, I've seen this race so far. And it's still some pretty crazy racing. I mean, these guys are slingshotting and trying to make moves side by side for the lead. Here comes, uh... Is he pushing him? Yep. Yeah, just Josh Robin pushing Justin Lisenby on the outside there. Yeah, Josh I'm not... Robin, uh, hillbilly driving an Indy car. <laughs> yeah. And this ain't Talladega. You can't be bumped for him. That's what he's doing. Yeah, it's like he's, he's, he's trying, though. Look at that. Holy yeah, cow. Yeah. He is pushing him. Yeah, there we go. On board with him. Yeah. Wow. Now That's he is smart enough to let off him before he gets and to the corner. He, he worked. Oh, look at that block. From that push. What a move. It actually worked. Yeah, well, look how tight he is, though, up high, man. You got who? Emery is going up to the top. That's why I wonder, like, on the on laps, you know, wind down, do these cars start Getting tighter, even with how the weather is and all that. Yep. That um, wasn't a race. I don't push. know. Yeah, the aero push does get a little bit worse as the lights start to wear off. Yeah. I think there's about 35 laps they can oh, do on the field. Oh. And we we have the, 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 the any wreck going on behind these guys. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Look at these guys back there. They're like three wide or three wide up here almost. Two packs of five. This is the second pack. I can't. Yeah, this is the second pack. This pack's like okay. Look at them; they're all over. Then there's Zach back there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we get the top five in this group, then we got the rest of the top ten in the second group, and the eleven on back is that big snarling pack behind them. Sean Williams is probably losing his beard hair back there, losing that. <laughs> yeah. Pack. Probably he's probably like coming up right now for the last aerodynamic drag. Freaking crazy they're racing behind him. He's one of the most uh, cautious drivers in this league. Yeah, I'm sure he's not liking that behind him. No. We're actually getting some green flag lab here, finally. Yeah, if this goes on for probably about an hour, 15 to 10 laps, we might be getting some green flag pit stops. That ought to be interesting, trying to see a big pack like this try to come down pit yeah. right here. Yep. Well, the thing is, a lot of these guys are not used to driving these Indy cars, and like, the brakes on these cars are a lot different than they are in a cup car. Uh, the brakes on these cars, they tend to lock up a lot easier, but they do brake a lot shorter too. So these people, have to be, they're going to be really careful when they actually do oh, make man. that pit stop. I thought they were getting ready to put there first. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I, feel, I kind of feel like this second group here, even though there's a lot of cars, I doesn't feel like they're racing sure all that hard. And I actually am starting to think they're catching that second pack. And yeah. this could could be one of those things that maybe they're not and just kind of like staying even. But you see, the distance is about two seconds, maybe right there, two or three seconds between them and this for uh, this second pack. Now this first pack get, or this second pack, they want to catch the leaders. They need to start slingshotting each other, which I don't think they're doing that. Nope. Meanwhile, back up front, it looks like. Um, Looks like a little bit of a breakaway up here. Looks like Josh Robin? Remy? Yeah. No, Josh Robin, he is leaning right now later, but it looks yeah. like it's Ryan Marin and, uh, yeah, Ryan Marin and Femi. And, oh, but. Yeah, they're starting to actually lose this group just a little bit. So I'm, I'm wondering if Femi does have maybe just a little bit of damage from my incident earlier. I just, I really feel like they kind of hit kind of hard and he might be down just a little bit. Wow, that looked a little close right there between Anthony and Justin. And it could be one of those things we might be seeing the tire system fall off just a little bit as yeah. well. Man, this is <laughs> back here. Back here. 
Connor, or no, it's Joseph, my bad. Some of the guys that were leading earlier are stuck back here, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is like they can't really find a good way to kind of get through the script because it's just a big swarm of cars. And like as soon as you get up front and take the lead out of it, you get past. And this is a constant back and forth. You really need to find somebody to kind of work with and slingshot back and forth with. But you gotta kind of have the rest of the pack know, like, hey, this is what we're doing. Just follow along. And so it looks like they're about to hit that wall. <laughs> right for that wall. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that was close. I'm t I think the handling is deaf. The tires are definitely starting to wear on these cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's one in the wall. Oh, God. Oh, oh, Trump no, Baker. Trump Baker. Oh, oh, my God. He's upside down. Tornado. Caution's up. Oh, and that, I think he'll be done here. Yeah. I think Lombard. He Got tight. Oh, I think that's steering. Ooh, oh, wow. Oh, steering is broken on that thing. Let off I think, the gas. Burn I, think, down. I think the throttle's stuck on that car. Joseph Lombard looks like he had that wheel cranking to the yeah. left. And this was just again, you know, wrong place, wrong time. But, yep, oh, yep. man. Well, that was Jordan. Yep. Oh. TCP just flew like a kite. Oh, my, oh my God. <laughs> what was that? Spin a Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so both these guys in this wreck what? already had used a reset, so they both are done. Mm hmm. Yeah, look at the. Lombard there had that wheel. He got really tires. The tires are starting to wear off, and people are pinching it. That's that's two times Jordan really just been Ooh. taken out. Man, what a late hit there for Terrell Baker. That sucks for Jordan though. If that yeah. dude wasn't sitting on the track, he'd still have faster. Repair. Oh, this is gonna be a wild ride. Yeah, and there's nowhere to go. Absolutely, and you can't turn oh. down that quick. Wow. You, you, you're just there's no time to react to that. Try to get lucky and warp through him, but not this time. Let's see on board with Jordan missing here. Oh, yeah, this Joseph just came up just ever so slightly. Oh my lord! <laughs> Yo, this is gonna be this is gonna be a good shot right here. Uh, there goes Terrell Baker. Man, Whoa. how that car flipped like that was just wild. Yeah, the, yeah, he's gonna be uh, not eating anything for a couple of days. That would have been interesting to see if that would have went to Green Flag Pit Stops. Yeah, I was looking curve. forward to that. Yeah, we were, I believe we were really close. So the longest Green Flag of the run of the race is now officially over for the Hazard Runner Caution, and they come down Pit Road. Let's see, I think we're going to have a couple of cars here to stay out to get a wave around. Because there's a couple of cars that will lap down as these guys slowly make their way down Pit Road. Troll Baker's done for the day. Jordan's done for the day. Someone has hit the pit wall, or am I just seeing things? Oh, yeah, someone's stuck. Yeah, it, it wouldn't surprise me. Oh boy, these guys are on the brakes hard. They just keep lying. Yeah, the tires really wearing there. Looks like Josh Robbins gonna win the race. Yeah, Josh Robbins. Oh, this, by a this. mile. Yeah. Someone just drove into the wall back there. Like, did you see that? Someone just went right out. Whoever that car, yeah, that car. <laughs> he just drove right into the. I think that's Pina. I think that's Spencer Owens. Uh oh. Uh, I'll, I'll wait, wait. I think I know why the eight was so good off pit road. Yes. Oh no, he gets speeding. Yeah, whoop, whoop, he whoop. got speeding. Yeah, speeding. Yeah, you know, these things got pit limiters. I tell you, that's gonna really hurt him because track position is pretty important. It's, we're seeing here, he up front. And look who's up front for the first time today. Yeah, he's been kind of hanging back in this whole race and now had a great stop there because I don't even think he was in the top five. And now he's leading this thing. John Barry, green flag here. Now, the, these restarts, seems like the way these restarts go kind of dictate how the run's going to go. And see, these guys are really spread out. Yes. Anthony Emery really fell back on that stop. He's yeah. back in fifth. In fifth. And John Barry second just right laid now. back. Yep, just laying back this whole race. He's been fast into practices and stuff, just taking her easy. You know there's going to be a lot of carnage here. We I mean, got Ken Henry here in second. He's got that god-awful connection. Someone turned on the AC. Cars. Wow. Oh. I don't know. That, that was a great save. Unless it was just a lag making look at you sideways. But, man, well, well, that was that, yeah, that thing. Yeah, that's the thing. You don't want to be sideways in an IndyCar at this track, especially because it never ends well. 
Man, if Caden's connection wasn't so bad, these three could work together and get away from. I mean, they're still getting away, but. That's Zach Nichols up there with these two as well. And in oh, the he's position, all, he has all. The car off for the. Tree. Come on back there, but hit the grass. Yeah, they almost went back into the golf course back there on the back stretch. <laughs> oh, Caden, oh, car into the and wall. He's done. Oh, and he's done. That's it. Look out, look out, look out. Oh, he's in a tire barrier. Yeah, oh. I really think that's all because of his lag. I was just, yeah. He was lagging so no much. Yellow. I don't because it, it didn't even look like him and Zach touched. It was just. Yeah. That As he has no wing and his tires are all out of whack. Oh, yeah, that car really is hard to destroy. Yeah, he, yeah, that's going to be hard to see if he even makes it back. He's kind of keeping oh. it in the wall. Just oh, trying geez. to make it back there. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. I don't know. If, I don't know if he has a reset or not. He might have have a reset, but and a lot of cars start to fall out of this thing now. Mm -hmm. Skip oh. to the packs here. This is the lead pack right here. These two guys. Yeah, there's only two cars. Oh, uh, we yeah, got. They can. Oh, here. I, I think that's Kate <laughs> wrecking on yeah. pit road. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> well, well, yeah, these help. two continue to slingshot by each other on the straightaways, but they're. Kind of just running side by side now. Yeah, but if they get a slingshot, they could definitely get a. I think they can pull away from the second group. But it looks like they're just more interested in trying to keep the lead away from each other. <laughs> and here's a second group of about four cars Anthony Emery's in here, Ryan yep. Marriage, John Williams. Yep. I don't know who the other one is. I believe that is uh, Clifford. Clifford. Yeah, you know, if it was running a red car, we'd call him Clifford Big Red Dog, but of course, you know, he's not cool enough to be running a red car, so we can't make that joke. At least it's not a red flag. Okay. Yeah. These two are actually, I don't know, it's hard to tell through these corners. Looks like it's still been the same. And now, I'll tell you one thing, if these guys up here, if they start slingshotting, sure, whoa! Oh, wow. man, that almost. car was sideways. What are you doing? <laughs> I think that was Matt Hummel doing Matt Hummel things, as he almost lost it off turn two. I think that's Justin Linesby right behind him here. But yeah, that was that was a seconds from disaster right there. I mean, here's um, Spencer Owens, I believe, in the Snapple car. Yeah, Take Josh Robin, who had that penalty, is back there with him. There's, I think that's Ken Henry with a repaired car. And let's see a couple more cars back here. We go. This is the lead group of two cars. This is what these two want to see. I don't know. It's hard to tell this gap. Looks like it's about the same. These guys keep racing for third here. Yeah, and these guys racing the side by side is not really. I just don't think it's really helping each other all that much. I think they'd be better off to saying single file. But no, they rather. Well, we're getting lead changes out of it, though. Mm -hmm. It's just hard to tell what gear they're staying in, because like, they can get a run, but they start to tack out, and they sort of stall out next to them. So he goes way up. Oh! Get to try and Thanks. Selling four, yep. I think, caught wow. the... Uh, I think he caught that little bit of rumble strip there down yeah. the corners. I it think it got just a tap of sure. Really cool shot. So now we'll move the 07 and Zach Nicholas into the race lead for sure. That boy has a mistake, but they're still digging up here. I tell you one thing, that second group is about to get a lot bigger. I think there's a third group that's been slingshotting with each other, and I think they're about to catch this group here. I think that is a Femi Alat, and I think he is pushing that car. I think that's just Lombard, and he's actually shoving him up here. Yeah, it looks like it could work if yeah. you can do it right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. you see that. Up. Wow. And we saw Josh push, I think it was Justin, to the lead earlier. So, I mean, it's kind of strange that that's working out with these oh, look, cars. Look who that is uh, sneaking up into the second pack here at the back. I think that's Sean Williams. Yeah, it's Sean Williams up there. Yeah, he's in that pack, actually. Yep. Yeah, running in the round fifth place right there. Yep, we got a huge pack now. Yep, and that Spencer Owens has joined this battle with Josh Robin. It's t 10 cars. Yeah, Josh Robin, that speed penalty while it didn't take him out of the race lead, it didn't hurt him too much. And then the so, rest of the field is just really out of it right now. Yeah. Oh, we got one peanut. 
But whoa, well, yeah. these guys are. I mean, someone's going to clip that grass down there, and that's going to cause a huge wreck. They're going to fly like a kite in the bump there. Now, we've seen someone clip it before, and we saw their car kind of hop up, but they didn't lose control. This car is about averaging about 218 around this track right now. Aerial helicopter view, take a look. From above, as they can see this, uh, this is really the biggest pack on the track right now. Joseph Lombard looking to the inside, I see Anthony Emery here. It's leaning this group. Lombard, Lombard seems to be the biggest mover here. It's Femi's trying to, well no, I can't tell if that's Femi or not. Yeah, that, yep. that's Femi in that McAfee car. Trying to get some guys up here to push. Whoa, 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 oh, there's contact. some contact. Oh, look out, there they go. Oh, there they go. He just turned oh, down the track man. and just hovered poor Sean Williams. I, I yeah. Think. Taylor Swift will not be shaking that one off. Oh. <laughs> Master Bear's gone right. Look, he just hit the wall and just like. Who was that stop. in that red car? Was that Femi? Yeah, that yep. was Femi. Yeah. Let's see what happened here. Ooh, Ryan, some, some contact. Country. It looks like Ryan Marin, I believe. Yeah, yeah but he's gone. Hits the wall and just cranks it down. I don't know. And then that's Josh oh. Robin. Some yeah, and Josh on gets involved. Right in his cockpit. <laughs> mm. Man, Ooh, look out! Arca breaks it. Sean lays upside down here. Oh wow, that was car. That Ferrari was really close. That one takes the uh, road. Let's see. Yep, yeah, this. It looks like uh, Ryan Marin just got a little bit tight, and he just, he, uh, to me, it kind of turned down right at the same time he was coming up. Sean get collected, did something he didn't do once again. He's way down the track. Yeah. Just... I think if he didn't lift her when he was checking up a little bit, which he should have just checked up, like he did, but I think if he would have held it to the floor, I think he might have snuck by that. Going so fast. I'm bored with Josh Allen here. Oh, you see, there's the contact. Oh, he just oh, quickly wow. checked up. Wow. I don't know. I think if that's only front. No, no, he used the suspension to destroy. I just noticed I'm turning the wheel hard to the right, so pit road will be open. And that lead that the 07 and 74 had on the rest of the group is now gone. Yeah, it really didn't look like that second pack was running them down, so that caution, not what they wanted to see. Uh, here they come down pit road. Ooh, Emory kind of line them up there just a little bit. Let's see if they have any carnage here. Here they all come down their pit stalls. Now, this, I believe from this point forward, I believe this is going to be at least a one-stop, maybe two-stop race. I see Emery with a really yeah. good pit stop. Now he's come out with a race front. lead. The 07 lost three positions. We'll go back to four. I can't believe that uh, Mackenzie Johnson is still running. <laughs> well, well, like not, not sure how that's possible. Supposed so, to be in a coffin, but he keeps fighting out of it somehow. Yeah, it's like a zombie rising up when they're dead. <laughs> so anyway, pace runners involved here. We got Anthony Emery here and uh, Andretti Honda uh, powered car here. McLaren Honda, Honda, yeah. And green flags back out. We're running away. He's been so. setting a good pace here. In the restarts it sort of spreads the field out. As I say, that has that whole McLaren. yeah. Right. I love it. The seventy four is right there. I think these guys will probably do a better job of staying up with that front group if they just kind of like stayed single file and just draft all the way up to this front car. Yeah, Clifford there in the 55 here, up here. Yep. Side nice. by side, going for second, going for the lead yeah, now. Yeah, wow, side he by got, side with Anthony. Yeah, he got a really good run here as they head in turn four. As oh, oh, to cut to the oh, inside, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's there. I'm yep. waiting for somebody to just clobber that pit wall at full speed. Yeah, they're they're gonna get launched across the track if they do. <laughs> Clifford to the lead. Wow, nice. 
to the rest of the field there. Yep. Yeah, and this second pack's pretty huge. But this first pack here, here comes Joseph Lombard up for the middle. Oh, boy. Oh, oh look this... at Joseph, three wide. We've oh, he's got a bit. huge run. Oh, I think he's getting a little bit tight. Put too much seen, wheel in it. Yeah, we've seen Joseph kind of like getting a little tight a few times getting into some cars. Got to be careful yeah. about that. He's been there. really aggressive. There he, he goes. He's looking for the race lead. He's going for the lead. Yep. Really get this and I, yep, Joseph Lombard to the lead of North Indianapolis 500, and you hear the screaming of the thousands upon thousands oh of fanboys. Oh my gosh, that was close <laughs> right there. I thought he was going to get turned by Anthony there. Joseph Lombard to the lead in Indianapolis. Uh, oh, Anthony. Emery looking down low. Oh, he got him. Oh, we got, we got a lot of action going on back here as well. Emery with the awesome crossover out of third two. <laughs> wow. Oh, we go. Oh, oh my lord. Now watch, now watch Joseph's gonna get a run here off four. Yeah. Is he gonna go with it? 74 is gonna have a good run as well. Like, oh, there he goes. Three wide. Three wide for the lead. Oh boy. <sighs> He's going left, going to turn one. Nobody. Nobody. Oh, oh look three at that. wide. Oh, holy oh. God. Looks like the start of the actual Indy 500. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, these two are Runs really are close to each other. Oh, oh, he's, oh he's there, he's seen the that hold, was a, he took it. Man, he, it was just enough room for his car to take it, he's gonna take the lead. He peaked and he took it. That would've been Clifford a great move it. for the uh, win. Anthony, he left the bottom open and Anthony's gonna go right back to the bottom. Here comes Joseph, if he's getting another run. Is this is starting to heat up, this is crazy. Oh man, yeah. we're gonna try to make a four wide someone way back there. Yeah, I think these guys realize they're past the halfway point, and we're, we're getting kind of close here. Actually, we have right at 50 laps to go here. Still a long time to go, though, for... It really is. This track, 50 laps in Indianapolis is a long time. Here comes Joseph, Joseph back the through the middle. He's got some motor down these straightaways. Absolutely. He oh, almost oh, Anthony again. Oh, you can't Don't do it. can't down. do that. Clifford Blanket a little bit. So he's pretty new to iRacing, but he's I was just about to here. say, he's doing a great job. For he is fairly new to iRacing. I'm leading with these boys. If you yeah, look yeah. in the crowd, all the screeching fan boys, this is takes the lead of the turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's making some really aggressive moves. Yeah. I almost know, don't know how much longer that's going to last before there's a wreck. And look yeah. at this massive grip of cars back here. I tell you what, and they are, I think they can <laughs> taste that draft. We're going to have about a 20 car pack. And we do now. They have yeah. caught that pack. Yeah, I think Femi and Spencer are actually slingshotting. They're actually bringing the rest of that group with them, and they are cashing this pack. Spencer Owens getting up there. We have not really mentioned anything about him today. Mm -hmm. And like make their He's way down. Oh, look out! Look out! Look out! Oh, oh. That dude is testing. I'm his telling line. you, I am waiting. Someone is going to hit that. Karma's gonna strike that boy. And look at this, everyone's all one oh group. Oh my god, look at that. That's like about 20 cars. Yeah. We're about to have like a 50 car pile up, even though we don't have that many cars in this race. Oh, there goes one oh, around. Oh, we got oh, one around. Oh, wow! Oh my, oh my gosh! Oh my god, they're dead! They're dead! Oh, Mackenzie Johnson <laughs> has died along with Will Klein. Mac <laughs> Johnson what a, is finally dead. What a crash! Oh my gosh! They would fly down the. This is not a yellow. Are we serious? We're <laughs> <laughs> still green. I really hope we get a replay on that. I hope so too. That was massive. He went faster <laughs> into the wall than what he was doing on the track. <laughs> that was a, definitely a Scott Dixon wreck that we saw a couple of weeks ago in the real life race. Okay, oh. Yeah, here we go. Oh, here we go. Get this oh. car shoot across the track when he hits is that the peanut? wall. No, oh, that's Will Klein. This. Oh, Will. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like... mean to laugh, but that is one of the greatest wrecks I have ever seen. Oh my gosh. After 10 wrecks, Mac Hudson has been in, I think, Look at this, look at this right here. Finally. Oh. Look how cool this is. Oh my god. <laughs> he didn't even lift until he was in the fence. Yeah, yeah, he was digging there all he was digging all the way to the fence. Yeah. I mean, this was literally like an RKO out of nowhere. He, yeah, like, he, the he, he, he was committed to that wow. bottom going past the rack, and he was wow. committed to the fence. Man. 
Oh, my side's hurt. He's hurt more though. Man, what a, what a crash. That was the wreck race right there. But we could have a bigger one, because look at these guys up Yeah, we're, we're not done yet. Poor <laughs> Mac Johnson, though, has been in almost every wreck, and I think his car is finally killed. Yeah. Yep. Oh, is he leaves. Yeah, he yeah, had McKenzie, and I think he had enough. Oh, man. And oh, Emery so still up front here. Yeah. I tell you, Emery, he has done an amazing job keeping that thing up front. I He's mean, he's definitely he, been up five this whole race. He's been the only guy to stay up there this whole race, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Pick crew was on it, too, that last stop. Yeah, I think right now, I think Emery is definitely the driver of the race so far. You know, He's definitely doing the maximum staff and just keeping that thing up front, just making passes. Oh my god, he's going to make a lot that defensive line. And keeping that car on that inside line down the straightaway so they can't get to his inside. Because you want to be on that bottom to the corners. See Joseph there to the outside. He's back up there looking for the and, race lead. You know, I'm talking about drivers, you know, the race where they're Anthony, but right behind him, Joseph Lombard has had an incredible run today. Mm -hmm. Man, this pack is crazy. I still yeah. can't get over that wreck. Yeah, that was oh, crazy. I flew out of the ballpark. And I guess I didn't need a yellow. Yeah. I'm telling you, though, all these guys in this lead pack. Oh, right here, this red, oh look out! Oh. God, I can't believe no one's hit that yet. Oh, to the right. oh John Williams! Just the wall right there. He heard us talking. It's like, go ahead, you guys want someone to hit the wall? Okay. <laughs> I believe that top four right there is um, with Anthony and Joseph Lombard is Zach Nichols, and I don't know, Justin Ly Lysenby, I think, too. Yeah, he's in that Red Bull machine. And I thought, man, man, this look is... At the, all the look, oh, man. my oh, God, Zach look at that move. got a great run. Side by side. This, this is uh, looking for a no place way. Happen. There's no way they can do this the rest there's, of the race. Yeah. This, this is, totally is a fun. Yeah, this is going to be a wreck. This, well, there's been a wreck already, but this is going to be Joseph a caution. Joseph up the middle. I think that's Joseph. Yep. I know this is fun and for money and racing like easy, but I'd rather be that car way at the back here because they are all <laughs> oh, junk some stuff here. Yeah, <laughs> if there's going to be a wreck, it's going to be massive. Joseph's trying to get that outside going. Ah, man. He stalls out, but I think he's clear. No, I think that yellow close. and red car all the way to the back. I think that's look the safest that. position look at the to be. Run, Joseph. Yeah, I think he's clear. Oh, he oh, came clear. He came clear. Oh, he had it, and he didn't take it. I, I think that would have been a wreck if he went down. I think he was not quite clear. It was so yeah, close. We seen him do this Zach a couple Nichols. times already, oh. trying to force the damn thing inside, but he just doesn't have the, you know, there's not the room down there. I think Emery yeah, at this gotta, moment is starting to get a little frustrated with him too. You gotta have the perfect amount of wheel turn. Oh, oh, the oh, 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 what the? Oh, man. Oh, I thought that was a mess wreck, but it was just lack. Yeah, if you have too much wheel in it, you get that dirt, you get that little arrow push, you get out of the groove, and you're gonna smack turn two wall. I thought yeah. Joseph was gonna do it there. Yeah, the Indy car really doesn't have that much uh, wheel movement. Like, there is definitely a point where you go over the slip angle and it, it doesn't want to turn anymore. And I think I think the tires are sort of rare on these cars, too. I think tire wear is definitely Yeah, we did issue. see that, that one long run. And these guys being in the pack like this with tire wear? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, the further back you are in that dirty air, just the worse it is. You have no grip at all. And you're just sliding those tires, just killing it. I mean, whoever the, like you said, whoever the last car in this pack is, you know, he, he's just hanging out. He's just waiting. He knows something's going to happen. And he's just waiting. Oh, I think there's one car making a move up to the top there. I think there's a line speeder and a Red Bull machine. All oh, these guys are stacking wide. up. Oh, uh. Three wide's a little tough at the track. I tell you, I think the car in the same position right now is probably Anthony the Emory here. Oh, look, oh. They're, they're snaking. We're snaking down the front. These guys don't know what to All do the way anymore. To the inside wall. Look at Joseph popping out to the outside here. And I just this can't last much longer. Nope. See the Red Bull car there on the inside. There's just really nowhere to go. No. Really impressed with Joseph Lombard up there on that outside. Hanging tough. This is Pat is the lead. dwindling down here. 
Yeah, I think that there's a bit of guys. I think they're intentionally backing off to get away from this group. Honestly, <laughs> I don't. I'm not sure if it's tire wear. I mean, it is starting to affect them a little bit. But oh my god, he just forced the inside. inside. Maybe some what? guys trying to stretch it on fuel. Oh, we got one car pitting here. Yeah, one car coming off pit road. I don't know who that is. That is uh, Cody Miller. There's no way you can make it from here, though. I don't think you can. Yeah, I'm not too sure. No, it's going to be close. Oh, there they go. There they go. Oh, there they go. oh wow. Yeah. John Barry, Justin is up and over. Is Cody just... Who was the, who was the other... I think Zach Nichols. Yeah, yeah Zach all Nichols. All these guys were up front in that in that pack. Basically, your top three out of your five guys there. Yeah, they all, each of those guys have led laps in this race. It all, ooh, they, looks they, like got from Justin. I'm not yeah, sure what he, happened there. Yeah, he, he just, just kind of stopped. stopped a little bit. I'm not sure if he got really clean, heady out of the gas there. Maybe. Oh, and... oh my God, Sean Williams. Sean Williams had a view of that. Let's see, he's behind Joseph right here, and to see what happened, did he just get, like, really tight? Yeah, then he's he... starting to get tight, and he just lifts, but he really, really lifted big time, though, and they mm -hmm. were going to that wall, or the I think he barrier. Just got, yeah, it looks like he got too conservative, because Emery was on a, his outside, he didn't want to just clobber him, but ended up taking up two That's more That's the cars. thing, you can't just stop cars riding a dot, I mean, it's like... Yeah. He's going for. so fast, you, just, you can't... Yeah, listen... Yeah, he definitely got the throttle and just check him. Oh wow, he actually rolls wow. over my car. Or actually more oh, like bounced over. What? Pony maybe? I'm not too sure. I mean look how quick this happens. Yeah, you just, you just can't move that quick now. Wow! Oh, 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 oh. And hopefully these two guys have a reset. Or these three guys that were gonna, you know. See you later. <laughs> Good gravy. Alright, so pit road is going to be open. I don't think they can make it from here. Because these guys, I think they can go by like 30 some laps, 30, 32 laps on fuel. Yeah, and it's something think, around there. I think if you pit now, I think you're going to really start going to fuel conversation mode if you're going to stay out for the rest of the race. And not to the one car who pit right before this all happened was Cody Miller. I don't know if he's able to stay in a lead lap or not. Yeah, it was close, I'm not too sure. So here they all come down pit road, we need to have this scoring go for to see exactly what lap we're on. I think the sunny four had good pit stop. Yeah. Here they come pit off pit road, who's gonna win the race off? It's oh, gonna and be and Emery. Another good stop. Number Gonna one beat stall, Joseph man. off pit road. So, yeah, we're, we're, it's going to be 35. Yeah, I don't think they can make it from here. Next, I think it's right about 30 some lives is what they can do. And of course, with the increase of drag that these cars have, with an increased dragon down for us, it's going to hurt the fuel mileage even more. After flipping over in this race, look who is P3. The rolling chicane himself, man. Man, yeah. I'm a hometown this... hero. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yep. I don't know about hero, but the green flag's out and back in the way. <laughs> oh, we got a lot of stacking up back there. And Matt got a great jump. He's going to go for second here, right on the restart. Yeah, moving. Well, not yet. Oh, yeah, move, yeah, Matt. We'll take second. We're yeah, trying to the get sec. to see if he's a hometown hero or not. We're not too sure. He's yeah. look for a leader. Here he comes. Contact the little sheriff's department to find out for sure. <laughs> oh. Let me see, there's a, you know, I think he might be able to clear yeah, him, nope. Yeah, not quite. He didn't quite have enough, enough oh, run. Oh man, he's out of the groove, oh man. He's like he's on new tires. Yeah, I guess once those guys get concerned so far up, high up, they're just in their gray area and things is not going to turn. Joseph uh, Lombard coming back for a second here. Oh, well, I, I thought he had a run there. I, I tell him, I think this is Emory's race to lose. Oh he's yeah, been up I mean. front the whole time. I'd be really surprised if he ain't battling for the win here. But I think these guys are going to make at least one more pit stop before we get to the end of this race. Let's see, we got about, it looks like about a seven car breakaway up front. Yep, seven cars it looked like. Ryan Mayer and yep. the last of them. Oh, here comes Matt Humble. I'll oh, finally take a look at the inside of Emory there. That's Spencer Owens moving into third. He's making a charge to the front now as we get to the end of this. Yep, here comes Josh Robin up there. He's in fourth place. Had a speed penalty earlier. 
Nice back up in this late group. Oh. Joseph Lombard with another lap blood. Yeah. Great, great run. Yeah, and these guys, they have definitely have pulled away from that second group. Wow, that was close between Emery and Spencer come off turn two. I was not, I think the track is starting to tighten up a little bit as well. I think there's a lot of rubber being laid down on a bomb lane. I would I think. Oh Go man, ahead. that's close off the corner there. I was just about to say, I think out of almost everybody in this field, Joseph has the least amount of experience in eye racing, I think. Everybody in this field, so that's kind of crazy to see him up front like a whole time in this race. And we got two big packs now. Look who's up to eighth and ninth here. There's oh, we got, we got wreck up here, wreck up here, wreck oh, up here. Man, oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Why is Matt Hummel? Oh, look out. Think, oh, oh and who is that? Kane Henry. I think Mark Josh Henry's. Robin was also. Oh. I saw a red car involved. <laughs> John Barry gets Nick there at the end of the slowest track I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh, that was massive oh, net coding. Big time oh. net code. I, oh, hard in the wall. Oh, what the? Oh, what the? F I, I was that red card, right? Josh Robin? That's yeah, Josh on. Robin. Yeah. Oh, my lord. And I it's mean. It's Caden Henry. Yeah, and then there's Caden <laughs> Henry. Oh. Oh, look at that guy skating through. Is John Barry slowing down and someone just blinks? <laughs> yeah, man. he's got a record break there. On board, Matt Humble. Definite echo. Okay. Yeah, Josh kind of came the... down to it. What the? He turned right. Wanted to be part of the echo. Oh! Wow! <laughs> See you later. Aaron Smith sneaking through that. Yeah, let's watch. Josh kind of didn't come down, but there was it was still net code. Yeah. Yeah, he sort of came into his group. Mm. You can tell. He's oh my god, he got so lucky he didn't get clobbered there. But speaking of clobbering, oh boy. <laughs> Let's see if he even lives. Alright, he's through the wreck. Oh! <laughs> oh he just drives to the wind. Now! What do you do here? Do you get the fuel? I mean, the fuel's close right here, and, and Anthony see. and these a couple guys are staying out. Wow. Yeah, Emery, I think that's Spencer staying out. It looks like Ryan Marin's staying out. I don't know about that. Gas is going to be close for them, guys. Have these guys, they, I think they're going to need at least two more cautions. These guys pitting right here, though, I think they, they, they should be good to go the distance yes. here. Yeah, the guys were pitting. I'm really, really shocked those guys, that people stayed out here. Unless they're thinking it's a wreck bus, but you know, there's also a possibility of a green white checkered. We not that in our league now, so if there's a green white checkered, there's no way they can make it. Yeah, looking at that scoring pile on Rook's use record, and I think there's like 13 or 14 cars, so we basically got half a field left that are competitive. Maybe we'll have a guy stay at the back, try to save a little bit. Yeah, these See guys that happens. stayed out, Joseph Lombard, Anthony Emery, this is... Uh, I'm not sure about this call to stay out here. I think that's Spencer sure. Owens in there as well. Yeah, I, I just don't... I think the guys who stayed out here, I just don't think they can make it. They need a lot Especially, of help with the yellow yeah. flags. Will this stay green? Probably not, but I mean... If oh wow, we got ooh, no. Oh man, look. That was a lot of stacking up right there in that restart. We got 14 cars left in this. We about had none there. I tell one thing, Joseph had a terrible start. Look at Emery, yeah, he's already that taking that the lead from That was like the worst restart of the day right there. He that is going to lose. Yeah. Oh, we got one around. Oh, we got one. Oh, we got one oh, my God. We got one oh, no. No. Helicopter. Oh, Miller. Oh, my God. oh, he's dead. His damn death traps. He's dead. Well, that's the caution these leaders needed, though, that stayed out to save the fuel. Yeah, and I think the guys who just came down pit road, I think they can make it from here. Absolutely. But let's see what happened here. We're kind of, I'm not sure what this is all about. He just oh, turned wow. Oh, man, that just Whoa. flew the car over. Who is that, is that red car? car? <laughs> yeah, right? They I might, think the red Josh car is Aaron Smith. <laughs> I think Aaron Smith's in a yellow car. I'm not, uh, I don't know. And Cody Miller definitely. Who is this? The double zero. Man, he just kind of they turned him. They would hurt. Yep. Oh my god, what a ride! I'm just getting dizzy, dizzy watching it. I'm getting so dizzy I can't even pronounce my words right anymore. Okay, no, this is um 68. 68. Top oh. first. 
Whoa, whoa, it's not Mercer, yeah. Wow. This field is slowly getting dwindled down here. So, we we're going to have <laughs> only five laps to go here. I think these guys are friendly in their caution. Yeah, those front three, I think those are the three that stayed out. The top five really... stayed out. Oh, okay, well. Yeah. I think they stayed out, I don't know. I know for for a fact the top three, this is gonna, if this goes green the whole way, I don't know if they can make it on field, but green flags back down and run away. Spencer Owens in great position to try to take the lead. Really has been kind of just keeping it clean, hanging out all day. We also got Joseph Lombard up there. We've seen how well he's been doing. We've seen how, I think that's Clifford. Yep, he's been Four. pretty solid all race long. Here comes Spencer. Yep, Spencer looked on the outside. I think, I think right now, I don't think you're holding back anymore because I think we're racing to the end. Yep. Some of these guys that have their resets still are uh, pretty aggressive here. Yeah, yeah, if you still have a reset, yeah, this is definitely, you know, man. You're, you're saving for a reason. The middle again. Three wide for the lead at Indianapolis. Wow, what a, that would have been oh. a finish. Oh, well, I'm not liking this. Oh, boy. Spencer goes up high. He's jump back in the line. Oh, look out. And that's a four-car breakaway, and we've seen when these cars, when they break up, Break out like this is kind of hard for that second group to catch him, but I think who's that? I think that's Femi back there. I think they can possibly run him down. Yeah, the Femi's starting to push some guys again. Tell now, you what, that's one. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, these guys who here, these top four, especially for a short on fuel. I mean, how hard do you race each other before you start backing off and you know saving gas? Emery's got the car to win right now. But does he have enough fuel? Wild cards would be Joseph. Let's see. I mean, an experience, but then again, we never know. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, you know, what he doesn't know, he doesn't know. He doesn't know what moves he can and cannot make. <laughs> so then that might, might be a benefit for him. But we've seen several times where he's almost wrecked Anthony Emery, just kind of thinking he's clear when he's really not. Yep. And one, really well, one guy that's in this pack up there, you need to watch those. Femi Olat, if he's mm -hmm. still in this thing at the end, you know he's going to be aggressive going for that win. And I think he's got enough fuel to make it. So yeah, definitely he does. Tom Mercer in that Ferrari, he came down pit road. I think he's definitely got enough fuel to yeah. make it as well. How about that? We haven't said any really much thing about him. This car should have been killed in that last Yeah. Time. I think he <laughs> barely missed it. I think Femi, well, Femi, I think, is out of a faster repair, unless he somehow got that repaired. Look at the um, bump draft. In yeah, he's, <laughs> he's driving like he does. He has one. Because he's pushing the 82 down that back stretch. Oh, wow, they're oh, close. Spencer oh. really got close to Femi Olot there. Holy cow. The same thing almost happened to Femi again. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, man. Yeah, we're coming around to get 20 laps to go here. Oh, they're not going to make it. No oh, way, Femi's Femi was looking. looking to the middle. I didn't think that would be a good idea there. Watch Femi and Joseph. I don't know. That's if he tight. And you can tell from the size of the field, we're running our cars up here. Yeah. Like, it's not as many as there were be, you know, before. Oh, look, look at that. Wow. There's Joseph looking to the outside. Joseph and these moves he's making. He's, he's lucky being... he's still in this race. Yeah. He's been really aggressive so far. But I mean,. That's how you gotta. Do, it's what you gotta do to be up front here, and he's been up front uh, really a lot Pinching of the second hard. half of this race. <laughs> and down to it. I'm surprised that second pack hasn't done something. Yeah, yet. it looks like we got about what 12 or 13 cars left in this thing. Yep. Yeah, I think that that second pack, like, I don't know. I'm just getting too late in the race for them to rely on them wrecking them. Get Spencer up middle. Three wide. Oh, this Femi is going to try to make it four. Well, I oh. think he is. Can't do that. Oh, Joseph in the wall. Oh. oh. There it is. Joseph's up at the wall. Yeah. Oh, my. He's on top of the wall. And gone. Oh, oh no. What a it, tough break for Joseph. And that wasn't really any of his fault right there. Nope. Yeah. It says if I heard millions of fanboys all cry out in terror and were suddenly silenced. Uh. Man, he was having such a great day. It's a tough break for Joseph there. I mean, he was looking for a yellow there. 
I have to one thing, that kind of spread oh. these guys out quite a bit. He's back underneath them. Good run here by Clifford here. Yes. In third. Man, I think that's looks like Marin in fourth. We're seeing a lot of people leave those grandstands Thomas. now. Yeah, the grandstands, they're starting to file out here at Indianapolis. <laughs> <laughs> And here's this. Now, this second group here, Cody Miller is somehow still running. I don't wow, believe that. How is, how is he in this race still? <laughs> and we're battling up here side by side for Lee's lead. I think I'm here on the radio. Him and his 74 are working out a deal where they're going to slingshot each other to get up here. Yeah, they're going to, they, they have to. I mean, they're, they're in touch with these leaders. And, but now we got to think, which of, who of these cars up front do you think are close on fuel? These front five here. Well, I don't so think the 44 got, for can make sure, it. The 44 is close. Um, I think Ryan Marin also stayed out, right? Yeah, Ryan Marin, he's close on the field. Yeah. And the rest of these guys have pitted. Um, so I think Clifford has not. Four. Oh, okay. So maybe three of the five are very close on fuel, obviously. And I'm not really sure. I think Femi pitted on one of those cautions, but I think it was a. Uh, there's like a rush with three cautions there, back to back to back. I think he pitted on the middle caution. Tom Mercier, I'm not sure. I, think, I know for a fact that the 44, um, Clifford in the 55, and Ryan Marin in the 4, they're really close. I don't know if they can make it or not. Femi and I think um, the 68 of Tom Mercier, I think they're close as well. But I think they might be able to make it. I think this second group here. I think a lot of those guys pin on that very last caution. I think they'll be able to make it. I tell you what, those that second three right there, they're doing a yep. great job. They are getting in, you can tell. Mm -hmm. I don't know who the third car is with them. I think it's Spencer. Yeah, Spencer Owens is there with them. They're all working together trying to catch these front five. Yep, those three always race with each other all the time, so they know what they're doing here. Yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely by communicating with each other. Yeah, we got 15 laps to go. Oh, yeah, they are. They can just... About get that draft. Yep. One little bubble here by Tom, and he's gonna have him. Yeah. It's great work, those three. Oh, yeah, they're they're definitely gaining on them. I think they made up a couple of tenths. Actually, I think they're within the oh. draft now. Yep. They might have it here off turn two. It's gonna be an eight-car race now, be soon. Oh yeah, here they come. Now, can that other group can they catch up? Awesome job by that second bag. They are in this race now. Yeah, they definitely. And they worked out that drafting out perfectly. Cody Miller, right. John Barry, Spencer Owens. Let's see if they battled out for the win here with that with that working together. Um, I don't think they caught really, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, Ryan. Go ahead. Really quick. Here's a little Clifford the Blue Big Dog. I don't freaking know. <laughs> <laughs> he's been actually he's been like really well with every year. Yeah. He's been hanging around. But I think that's you got Femiola up there too with these guys. You can see that back group back there. I think they're starting to slingshot. I think that oh, is. Oh, uh... that's tight right there. Oh, man. Oh. Like he was in the middle there. I thought like, this was going to be a crazy finish if these guys actually make it to it. Yep. Yeah, if they make it. Uh, we look back there. We got Sean Williams. I'm not sure who's back there with Sean Williams. I think that uh, that's that's Aaron Smith. He's in that yeah, bright yellow car. They're trying to slingshot. Just if these guys race hard up here, they might be able to do it. But they really have to work together, like those three we saw to get to get up there. Yeah, the, uh, the three, the 74, and Cody Miller, and Spencer. They worked it to perfection to get up here. They got up here really quickly. They almost probably got up here a little bit too soon. Yeah, they need a big checkup back there for those guys. I think there's five of them. Femi Olot side by side for the lead with Anthony here. This is now, literally the field right here. Yeah, now we've seen it before where these guys on the outside were giving an inside a lot of room. Oh, oh so someone catches it all as Cody Miller. Oh, oh man. Works so the hard to get year. up to that. And now his race is done. Yep, that yeah. car's bad. Yeah, he's already used a reset. He, yeah, he's. Now, ooh, make sure he doesn't spin it now. Yeah, we saw that earlier with, uh, I think that was Matt Hummel after he lost his wing, just died. It's fun. I think we got. I, I think, uh, 10 to go. I think that second group back there, I think they're starting to catch him a little oh, bit. Yeah, yeah. That's what they needed. There's 12 cars left in this race here. And Femiola has gotten in front Whoa. of Anthony Emery. Emery doing some aggressive driving now. Can the 44 make it? Yeah, we haven't really seen Emery. I mean, he's been in second and third, but 
end of the race, it's time to go. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's racing for the lead. Here he goes side by side. John Barry moves into third now in the 74. Where'd he come from? Yeah, when he was in that group with along with Cody Miller, it caught up to this pack here, and he's now in third position. He for sure can make it to the end. Him and Femi. Yeah, and there he goes. He's questionable. Middle. He's in the middle. I think he's there. Oh no, he tucked back in. It's hard to tell from his camera angle. Yeah, we also I think the 55 might be really close as well. We know the four Ryan Merritt, he's also really close. Yeah. This front group is starting to get strung out a little bit. We're on the pension. And one of the also, longest runs. You gotta think on this run with those guys that were close on fuel. Anthony was leading a majority of it, and those guys were getting draft behind them most of the time. So there, yeah. that could be the difference too. Yeah. And you're gonna start seeing this outside line. They've been giving the inside line a lot of room here, but now we're oh, in the race. You're gonna see a lot of pinching. That second group, they're starting. Uh, they're they're trying, but I just. Uh, I would I say they would need a caution. They, they would need a caution, but we see these restarts from the field is so spread out. That I think they'd be better off having it stay green. Anthony oh, slides into this. Oh, walking down, walking. He's looking to the outside, but it won't even matter. Can't even make it to the end of the field. He's been dominating. It's going to be weird to see him try and he's got to actually pass somebody now instead of being the leader. Yeah, we seen them like being on the bottom the whole race, defending that bomb lane. Is that second pack is slowly inching they, up? They might be. Like it's hard to tell. Seven, seven to go. It's gonna be. It's gonna be close. Yeah. A lot of things to go their way here. Now, if someone were having this group where they were just losing the minimum, that second group would be right there. And it does. It does look like they're starting to catch them. Yeah. They, they might get there before the end of the race. But it's gonna be hard for them to kind of work their way up through the field because you got all these cars right in front of you. And remember, there is that green-white checker rule. Oh, what the? Oh, oh, no. There might have been some contact and there. That could be the break. They're gonna get that nope. draft. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. From uh, who is that? Clifford. Yep. He actually yeah, that... had to hit the brakes there. There's some time. Wow, smoke. Anthony really fell back there. Kyle is that thing running on films now? He might have stuttered a little bit. Or he just lost his momentum. I don't know. Man, hopefully these two might have lost touch for the for the front four. Yeah. yeah oh, here comes John Barry on the outside. Uh, here comes wow. the 74. Here he comes. And yeah, remember, we got the green white checkered. It's, and it's Ryan Marin and Tom Mercer up there in fourth. These front four have pulled away now. He's having a great run. Is John Barry's gonna try to cross over here? He's gonna get a little bit of a run. Is he gonna go? He's gonna try low. No Outside. Ball. Oh look, 44 oh, just came down pit road. Pit road. What a horrible break. Dude. I think, I think that check was him probably. He, I don't know. He might have started on fuel. I yep. just say I, I knew that was. Oh man, they almost touched back oh, the yellow you. car. Man, if he's that a lot of short, can Ryan Marin? Can he make it? Can the 55 yeah. make it? Yeah, Ryan's in this lead. He's third place right there. He might have popped it in the sixth and just let it cruise. He was laying back Ryan, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, Ryan's been in the draft the whole time, too. Anthony was leading. Yeah, yeah. makes a huge difference. Really, the best thing to do if you're, you know, running on fuel, uh, fumes here is put the thing in six and run high throttle in the draft. Yep. Like, you could definitely save a lot. Keep and an eye on this second pack. Yeah, the second pack is catching up. Four to go. It's Sean Williams, Aaron Smith, and a couple other guys right there. Clifford's John, in it, too. John Barry's not giving up this outside here. As here comes Aaron Smith. Oh, a little bit of contact there. Four laps to go. This is it. Wow. Yeah, here. That's second grip. Time, they're, they're timing. They're timing it. But they're going to get there. Aaron Smith yeah. has the draft. Yeah, he's got their draft now. Where did he come from? He's and we have not. There. Yeah, we haven't said a word about him. <laughs> no. He's got a chance to win the Indianapolis 500. Oh, uh, my and gosh. And there's a wreck. Aaron Smith usually finds his way into it, but he's a, somehow oh, managed to avoid he all of them. There. Look at the run he's got. Man, this oh, is now, awesome. Yeah. He almost won yeah. the Daytona truck race here. Well, not here, but yeah, well. getting a North <laughs> season, but still. Three of laps to go. Joined. Sean Williams in this oh. pack now, too. John Barry and Femi Olat side by side still. Uh, oh, we got oh, one on the, the wall. wall. That's Hopefully Zach that's Nicholas. He's done. He, that's another car up. Yep. He's going to keep it up on the wall. We should stay green unless he loses it. Now, we're, we're running our cars up here. Yeah. 
John Fem. Barry's still chugging on this outside. He just, he, he, he can't clear Femi. It's so hard to do that. We've seen that all day, but here's yeah. the run. If oh, look, all, 55 right. didn't make it. 55 oh, didn't oh, make man. it. He had so to come down this road. Watch Ryan Merrim. Will he make it? He's up there in fourth. Two laps to go here in Indianapolis 500. And it's been Femi. Actually, Femi and the Sunny Four, they actually raced four to win the last season here. And it was the Sunny Four picking up the victory. Six cars. That Tom was also, Mercer right there in third. That was also a fuel miles race, oh, too. That's, he, oh, he's trying to get every oh, little man. bit of draft he can. I think another car in this group might have run out of gas. I think someone lost this group, but we're down to six cars up here. Can Who's Eric it going to be? Yep. This done. Coming off of turn Barry's number four. Time to slingshot. Because he can't clear him. Look at the run. He's getting Tom a push Mercer. from Tom. White flag. One Look lap to go here in Indianapolis. He's going to have to push. Yeah, I think that's I think uh, the, it's Tom Mercer. I think he's in the best spot. Here comes Aaron Smith. He's right oh, there. There he goes. It goes Aaron Smith. Smith. Final lap, Indy. Half a lap to go in the Indy yeah. 500. Here they oh, go. He's, he's pushing him. He's, he's pushing him. Can he get the run, though? Not quite. Femi's got the advantage, I think. Femi's playing from earlier. My back One here they Okay, go. here we yep. go. He's, he's going to get a run right here. Yep. Turn he's four. Go up to the last corner. There goes the outside. Side by side. So, drag racers contact. To the line. This is 74. Oh, holy cow. The 74 does it again. He did that slingshot perfect. He he's let he let back going into three, got behind him, did the slingshot off four, and it was enough. What oh a run. God. He did there it again. Comes John Barry and Femi in a side-by-side -side finish, and they were touching tires down that front stretch. Oh, God. Oh, God. Aaron Smith. <laughs> Aaron Smith's like, well, I, I don't get it. I didn't wreck this well, race. I'm supposed to wreck. Right that car. Man, what a wild finish. He should have enough gas to burn it down. Here oh, right yeah. The bricks. Here he goes. <laughs> what a great move. And that was what a crazy race. He's going to put up at the wall and... I think he's run the Stewart scheme. I don't know if he's going to climb the fence or not here. <laughs> I think he's too scared. Uh, let's take a look at our final finish results. Something for John Barry. Win the race by 23 one thousandths of the second over wow. final lot. Tom Mercer third. Sean Williams fourth. Aaron Smith will be fifth. Uh, one guy we never mentioned, Austin... Whatever. Yeah, yeah Wyckoff sixth. <laughs> David Haynes seventh. Ryan Marin eighth. Clifford and ninth. Anthony Emery. I mean, those three are the eighth, ninth, tenth. All would look like they were short on gas at the end. Anthony runs yep. out your top ten. Yep. Zach Nichols eleventh. Spencer Owens uh, twelfth. Cody Miller thirteenth. Lombard fourteenth. And Caden fifteenth. It's basically from what was it thirteenth on back. We're all wrecked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was looking at the Having Emery left 49 laps. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the heartbreak of the race right there for mm -hmm. Anthony. Just, but, you know, he just probably thought more cautions were going to happen and just went green to the end there, you know, so. Well, guys, um, final thoughts on a really crazy race. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, that was the craziest IndyCar race I've seen from – not watching that and not being in it, that was actually really, really entertaining to watch. So, uh, congrats to John Barry. He made an awesome move there. He set it up perfect. Yeah, watching that, I wish I was a part of that race. Um, <laughs> that was probably one of the most exciting Nork races, really, we've ever had, I feel like. I mean, that was so many lead changes, so many crazy moves and pack racing. Pack racing to Indy, that was, that was awesome. Lots of crazy wrecks. Uh, rest in peace, Mackenzie Johnson. Um, yep. <laughs> And uh, what, what a fantastic move by John Barry there at the end to make that slingshot, go to the outside, and just barely get it at the line there. Um, great, great job and great race. Uh, that was, was fantastic. Yeah, there was 50 lead changes in that race. So. Wow. So 50 in 125 laps, that's a pretty good average there. About lead change every two and a half laps, I think. But anyway, uh, I'd like to... Thank everybody for watching this North broadcast for uh, me, for uh, Hunter, and for Jared for commentating. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you all next time whenever that might be because we're literally really late when it comes to commentating these races.
But anyway, be sure to watch and we'll see y'all next time.